I'm Shannon and I'm going to be doing an analysis on cinematography in the film Bridget Jones Diary. I suddenly realised that unless something changed soon, I was going to live a life kind of where my major relationship shot. was with a bottle of wine. And I'd finally down. Here we can see kind of like an establishing shot, showing where Bridget lives, more showing like kind of her area and that she lives in a suburban area. Now we're panning up to kind of show Bridget in her home. And as you can see, the rule of thirds have been used really well here. As we can see, there's a lot of space left. This makes Bridget kind of seem alone. We've got kind of like long duration shots to show how Bridget pretty much her time's not changing. She's doing the same thing over and over again. Here we've got another crossfade again, and here we've got kind of, I'm going to call it a mid shot of her just sitting there drinking wine and the audience was starting to feel empathy for her. As you can see the credits have begun now, which are integrated behind the action, and Bridget now starts to sing with the song. I'm going to turn it up a bit. Here we've got kind of, it's kind of trapped in in a way, but we can also call it a uh, close up or maybe a mid shot again, which is to show Bridget's facial expressions and kind of her body language. Here she takes up kind of the whole of the frame. And here again we can see the amount of space that the director has left on purpose to show how she is alone which is reinforces the song but as you can see that space is left for a reason as the tip credits have been placed there and as she's going to kick and the whole title is just going to end up there which has been perfectly fitted 